Hello everybody. On Friday, I went to Savers and got this Fisher FVH4000 VCR. And it's a pretty well built VCR. And I'm guessing it's from the mid 80s. And in particular, this VCR does not even have a rewind or fast forward button. It's only on the remote. I tried every universal remote I could use, but it doesn't work, so I cannot show you the rewind feature, but I ca actually I can. I, I had a t I just fast forward the tape all the way to the end and it rewinds to the beginning. So I can show you how it rewinds and all that. There we go. There's some grease on the camera from my VC the gears. Yeah, yeah, just just wait with the grease I got it off. Okay, that's it. I think so. So I got this. Here's the mechanism, and Fisher was actually is was actually um, a Sanyo branded. Was actually Sanyo. So Fisher Fisher and Sanyo are actually the same thing. So Sanyo built these VCRs under their own brand and they in the Fisher brand, which Fisher was. I don't know if Fisher was actually. Um, before Sanyo, but all I know is all I know is that Sanyo one was part of Fisher, so I maybe they had two brands, but same thing. You know what I mean. Okay, so here's the inside. I'll show you the bomb some other day, maybe in another video. So um, here is the top upper side. This is a basic. This is like basic for the. This is a basic mechanism of the early 80s. No, not the early 80s, the mid 80s. So instead of gears, I used eyelid tires. So this eyelid tire seems to be good. I don't see any problems with it. Here is the tape stabilizer. They used to have that in these kinds of VCRs, but we don't anymore. We, we, they don't anymore. The erase head, the two heads, the two head drum. The, all the tracking head in the pinch roller. Back in the um, 80s, a pinch roller was actually pretty in particular. There was some plastic tops, and the newer VCRs were just all rubber, so you could tell um, that wasn't, it's like less durable. And down here, we have the main loading motor that is mostly gear driven. When I first got this VCR, it, it ate some tapes because there was a, oh, that old belt was made out of like complete goo. So I replaced it with another belt and now it's working pretty fine. It's working perfectly now. So I might order a remote off eBay, I'm not sure. I'm gonna think about it. I really wanna keep this VCR for quite a long time. This is a pretty rare VCR. Very, very, really, really good sound, your VCR. You know, Sanyo and Fisher actually made v more mechanisms in the 80s than this one in the 80s. So, um, you could look at, miss, look at, um, Mr. Magnetoscope's, um, account. I don't know if you've heard of him, but, um, look up, he, he has more Sanyo mechanisms from the old, he has like a, Fisher VCR with this mechanism, really identical model. It's, I think it's a Canadian model of this, and um, he has um, another. He has a Sanyo with a different tape transport, which is more interesting he, than this one. And uh, then he has a Sanyo Betamax. So he all he he made videos about those mechanisms. I'll, I'll give you the descriptions down below. So, I just showed you, I, oh, here's the display, I can't do anything with it, because it won't work with universal remotes, it'll only work with the original. Tape speed button, play, stop, change channel buttons, record, and some record controls. And power and eject. So, yeah, so, now I'm going to insert a tape. Hold on, let me just turn off my TV first. I'm going to show you the video quality at the end. I always do it at the end. So let me put the tape in. 
Let me focus first. So now the tape is playing. The tape is, yeah, it's playing. As you can see, the wheels are moving fine. Controller is working. Video head's in pretty good condition. I cleaned it just in case. Unlike that TAC I reviewed, it was like not, the video head was damaged or worn out. Like. And here's this tape stabilizer roller. And now I'm gonna press stop. It unloads the tape. When I press play, it makes a similar sound to one of those Orion mechanisms from the late 90s. Um, there, there was actually some. Look up, um, the look up a video called um, Memorex MVR. Hold on, let me say that again. Um, hold on, let me get get it in my head. Yeah, look up Memorex MVR four zero four six VCR. And when when you hear the when the when the motor loads the tape, it'll make a similar sound. Listen, like that. So look up that video. I also put some comments down there because I was trying to correct the uploader about he thought that VCI was made by Funai, but I helped him out out by saying it's made by Orion. And it, and then he knew he and he was like made a little mistake. So yeah, we're all cool. So let me just show you the lower mechanism again. I press stop. <laughs> now eject. Now I'm gonna show you rewind. So I I'm gonna have to use this tape because it's near the end at the end, so, because there's no stupid rewind button, and fast forward button, I'm pissed. It unloads the tape, now here goes rewind. Rewind is working fine, but so far no problems. You know, this is a mid-80s VCR, so expect it to be pretty slow. So far, the eyelet tire is still in pretty good condition. I'm gonna press... Stop! Now! Let's get to the final part, the video quality. The picture quality is pretty good for a two-head VCR. And it does not have digital tracking, it has manual tracking. There's the tracking knob right there, and watch when I, when I turn it, it makes the picture all fuzzy. If I turn it all the way, as you can see. So, back in the early 80s, to the late 80s, I think, you had to get up your lazy ass and um, turn the knob, the tracking knob, turn the tracking knob and with without any remote. I don't think you had to use I don't think there was an option on the remote, but um that makes people like uh, why do I have to do this? I bet my mother had to go through that. <laughs> so yeah. That is it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and peace out.